looking at here? This is a 1956 Oldsmobile, two-door holiday coupe. Mm -hmm. That's the actual name for it. And in 1956, you could order it in these colors. What you have to understand, this car is 57 years old, mm -hmm. and it's got features that you can't get on the belly button cars today. By the way, do you know what a belly button car is? No. No? It's probably the car you guys are driving and all these cars you see driving down the highways today. You know why they're called belly button cars? No. Because they all look the same and everybody's got one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyhow, some of the features on this car that you can't get today, mm -hmm. the wheels. See the wheels with the wide whites? Mm -hmm. They're called, they were called wide whites. Wide whites. Wide whites. Three inch wide white walls. There's only one tire shop around now that makes those tires. And they're in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. They're called poker tire. Mm -hmm. Okay, the other thing you can't get on it. What do you call the thing that covers the back wheels? I don't know what's it called. Fender skirts. On an old <laughs> That's envy again. Every once in a while. Ford owners kick that in, right? Because they just can't compete, so they try everything in their repertoire of the English language to try and bring it down. But it just doesn't work. There's just no way. Okay? That's called fender skirts. Fender skirts. Now, yeah. Now, what do you call this thing in the back of the car? What do you call this with the tire and the extension? I don't, know, I don't know, what's it called? It's called a Continental Kit. Continental. Now, do you know where it derived its name from? No? Okay, back in the 50s and 60s, the word Continental comes from a Lincoln. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's a Ford product. <laughs> Only because they paid Henry Ford, he was almost ready to commit suicide, and they talked him out of it and paid him money to use the name. That's what kept him going. <laughs> but it comes from the name Continental. A Lincoln Continental? <laughs> Back in the 50s and 60s, all the Italian mobsters drove Lincoln Continentals because they were cheap. And we all know Italian guys, I can't say that on video. Anyhow, they all drove Lincoln Continentals, right? Yeah. And the mobsters, the spare tire was in the trunk. There was no room for the bodies. So they took the tire out of the trunk and put it outside. Now they got more room for the bodies. That's the story, and that's true. Okay? That's where it came from. What are some of the other favorite features on this car? Okay. You know what this is from? That one there? I... That's a tiger's tail. Tiger's tail. Now, do you know where that originates from? I, I, I don't. No? Okay, back in the 50s and 60s, Esso Gas had one of the most um, prominent uh, advertising campaigns ever derived. Yeah. When you went into a gas station and filled up with Esso Gas, they'd put a tiger's tail on your filler pipe. And that meant everybody else knew you used Deso gas and you had a tiger in your tank. That was an advertising slogan. Put a tiger in your tank. Put a tiger in your tank. So you had a little tiger tail. That's right. <laughs> the other thing is, you know on the new cars you're driving around today, I'll bet you you can't drive any new car down the QE or any highway at a posted speed with the driver's window open without your face being blown over to the side, right? <laughs> That's why you see everybody driving with all the windows up, right? You can't do that. In this car, you can. I think they call it aerodynamics. Yeah. Most of us guys with the old cars call it stupidity. But anyhow, <laughs> the thing is, and you don't need air conditioning back then. No? No. See these windows? What's this window called? I don't know the name of that one there. That's called a no draft. No, oh, no so draft, right? It, and if it was breezy, you'd put it like that. The wind would hit it and blow the wind away. <laughs> if it was too hot, like we've had the last couple days, I go out for a drive in this car, I open the window like that, voila! That's German for what a beautiful idea. The wind hits this and cools you off. Right? That's smart. Just a lot of the some features that uh, that you can't get on the cars today. And they all work. That's amazing. Yeah. Beautiful. And car. the reason you two guys are probably here today is because your parents had one of these big beautiful cars with the explicit big back seat when they went to the drive. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I've been told.